In today's video, I will show you how you can send uh, Windows events from a um, Windows machine. This machine has the IPF uh, 135 from our subnet here. Uh, in my case, uh, my Windows machine is running a version of uh, 2012 server edition and it will send uh, the events uh, with the help of uh, an application which is called uh, Annex Log. And with the help of this application, we were going to send uh, the logs in the gel format to the load balancer on this IP address. Uh, gel format uh, stands actually for gray log extended log format. And then the information will going to be forwarded to um, gray log 2 or gray log 3. The first thing that uh, we will need to do would be to go to um, gray log and create a new input. The input will be gelf UDP. Let's call it um, Windows events. The port that uh, we will have will be 3514 to receive the messages. Let's save it. And now on the Windows machine, we will need to download NX log. And we will gonna download the community version, which is for free or community edition. As you can see, it's um, available for many platforms like uh, Debian, Red Hat, Docker, Android, uh, and Windows as well. Once we have downloaded the file, we will need to install it. And here in the readme file, you have some useful information like the location of the configuration file. Uh, and some other details that uh, you will need to take a look at it uh, once you have finished the configuration. It says that you will have to go to the services, locate the NX log uh, service and start it manually. And you have some other details here that you might want to take a look at it. I will close this one. Then I will go to find the configuration file. And now in the configuration file, uh, you might notice if it's not the first time when you're using uh, NX log that we don't have the gel extension configured, so we will need to configure it. I will just do it uh, down here. And we will say extension. You know what, I will uh, simply configure the extension for syslog and then I'm going to rename the syslog to xm gelf, uh, sorry to gelf here 
here I will uh, rename it also to Jelf. Okay, now that we are good, we can uh, define the input and output. Let's call uh, this input um, win for Windows. Then we will um, use the module uh, IM Vista log. IM underscore Vista log. Uh, sorry, it's actually I am MS for Microsoft Vista log. And in case you have problems finding your extension, uh, you can go uh, to modules and then extensions. And here are your um, available extensions. And um, here are your inputs, your input modules. So you can see I am Vista log is one of them. Okay, and right now we can close this input. By the way, in case if you have um, machine which is running uh, Windows uh, 2003 or earlier than this, you will need to use uh, this module, IM MS Event Log. Right now we will need to define our output module. Let's call it gray log. And for the output module, we will uh, use the um, OM UDP to send the information via UDP. Then we will have to define our host, which is uh, the virtual IP address of uh, the load balancer that we have configured for Greylog. 10.168.1. Eighty four that one hundred and thirty nine. Now the port, it's a three five one four. Output type. Uh, will be gelf and now we can close the output so we will have to define the route right now and uh, we can um, start the same way route and i will call the route uh, gray log route and here we will put the tap the path Uh, first, we will need to specify the input, which is win. Then we will do a space equal greater than, and right now the output, and the output is gray log. And right now we will have to close the route.
once we have done this we will need to save it and right now we will need to go to our services and find the nxlog service this one here and uh, stack it okay so that's it right now I'm gonna take a small break and uh, come back in a few minutes so after coming from a quite long break we can see that uh, there is some kind of data received here by uh, this input so let's click on received messages and here you can find some of them some windows events thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe